Hi guys, Rieta here. I thought that I should share with you um, this amazing thing that's happening in Cape Town in student accommodation. So late last week, there was this article that came out about a property development for 3,000 students to redevelop the Cape Town station in the middle of Cape Town CBD. It's a 20 story building um, that will cater for 3,085 students in Cape Town CBD. How amazing is that? So at first I was like, wow, I'm so jealous. I want it. Why, why, I also want a 3,000 um, bed student house, right? And then I was thinking, oh no. Oh, the D6 campus is right next door which is great for those students, but the D6 campus, CPUT D6 campus, is also my one of my main feeder universities into my, my properties. And then I thought, oh no, there goes student accommodation. What am I gonna do? Should I sell my houses? What am I gonna do? And it took me a little bit of time and I thought about it quite long. And then I remembered that in 2020, when I have managed a building in the Cape Town CBD that it isn't just CPUT that's in that area there are many many other colleges and uh, learning institutions in there there's Boston College, there's Rosebank College, there's uh, College of Arts there's so many things, there's international language um, institutions so I remembered all of that and I thought, okay, well, maybe not all 3,000 of these students will come from the D6 uh, CPT campus, but a lot of them might actually come from these other institutions. Then I also thought, you know what, when you have this amazing new buildings that are done really, really beautifully like they are going to do, because by the way, it's going to be so many, uh, 3,000 students, but it's also going to be a shopping hub, uh, like a whole precinct. Um, uh, with amenities specifically catering for students okay so then I thought well chances are that it's probably going to be overpriced and too expensive for the bulk of the students out there which is your your NASFAs or your your private students of middle class families um, so I really really hope and at the same time I thought okay well you know that will still push those students to to my side but at the same time you know I, I really hope that they don't make this pricing on the rentals so expensive that normal students can't afford it because they really deserve to be closer to 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 the to the institutions right um, and have good quality accommodation so I really so that is my hopes that um, you know they will be it will be affordable at least for them and then I still thought, okay, well, how do I prepare myself for this thing that's going to happen, this monster of a building? And to help myself not panic, I went and I did a little bit of digging. And it turns out that CPUT, Cape Peninsula University of Technology, um, across all of their campuses have 33,000 students, okay, of which more than half of those are from one campus, that campus in town, which means that 16 and a half, 17,000 students are actually from that campus. And the, and the actual university only has space, I think they said for about 3,000, 5,000 students, which means that everybody else has to find their own accommodation. And guys, if you know anything about Cape Town, you will know that accommodation in the CBD is very, very expensive. Which is why CPT has a bus that goes up and down Voortrekker Road from the CBD all the way through to Belleville. So um, I was like, okay, let's do the numbers. 17,000 students, let's say 5,000 of them are uh, in res at, at the university. Then there's still about 7,000 students left over that needs to find a space somewhere. Of 3,000, if all of them goes to that specific building, that 20-story building from Eris Property Group, then, you know, there's still another 4,000 left. And then I realized that my mission that I have specifically for student accommodation is still very much intact. And my mission is really to 
get as many people involved in student accommodation to give good quality, um, you know, not be slum lords and nonsense like that, uh, to be that for, for students across South Africa. And I cannot do that by myself, okay? So I'm almost thinking, well, this is part of that mission to get students that great accommodation and get my uh, uh, people out there, my students that I coach on how to do student accommodation, to get them to have properties uh, done right so that so that we can make a difference in this country um, and we can be ready for, uh, um, you know, to, to help nurture the future leaders of this country. And that really is, has, been, has been my mission um, all along. So very exciting times, I think. Um, and obviously, there's still other institutions as well that I cater for, uh, North Link, UWC, there's still so many others. So even when you hear about these big things happening, don't panic, don't stress. Um, Mr. Bladen Zamande said the other day, he, they also released an article saying that um, they have allocated 49 billion rands towards uh, student NASFIS loans, or oh, not loans, it's not loans anymore, but NASFIS bursaries um, to help students from missing middle and lower income families to, to be able to study. And, and they've got an even bigger focus now. So all of that is still here, it's still valid. And if you are looking to get into student accommodation and you don't know how, or you have a house and you're so tired, you really don't want to manage it anymore because it's too much work, because yes, it is a bit of work to do, then definitely, definitely contact me at rieta at mystudenthouse.co.za. And we can see if we can help you. I can either help you or coach you to get your own house, or we can actually manage your house for you and take out all of that admin uh, uh, intensity and drama uh, we'll manage that for you so get out there and let's fulfill the mission